how to use the new updated warp in CC 2020. Layers panel, click on the padlock to unlock. Edit menu, transform and warp. Along the top bar, there is a grid. You can set 4x4, 5x5, custom, etc. You can then warp the image using those points. You can also reset it back to the default. You can also create your own unique grid using the split features. You can still use the old fisheye, arc, etc. To warp your layer, edit menu, transform and split, crosswise, horizontal and vertical. Exactly the same as the buttons along the top. Go to the layer, right click and split vertical, etc. I'm selecting horizontal, so drag into position and then click the document. Repeat, and then go to split vertical and do the same. This time it creates a vertical line to warp the design. Right click and split crosswise does horizontal and vertical. Position the lines and then click the document to apply. Nothing has been warped yet. Select a line or point and then you can right click and then go to remove warp split. Shouldn't that be split warp? The line will then disappear. Click on the points, the lines, as well as the layer itself and then warp. You can move, rotate and scale the design. Once you're happy, click OK. You can do exactly the same with type as well as shapes. Go to the tools panel, select the ellipse tool, draw a circle. Then go to edit menu, transform path and warp. The same custom warp, grid features as well as splits are available. Right click the shape layer, use the same split horizontally, vertically as well as crosswise. Using one of the split commands, position the split and then click to apply it. Repeat a number of times to create a more complex grid. Select the points, the lines, the layer itself. Drag and warp the layer, exactly the same as before. You can do the same with all other kinds of shapes. This is a quick tutorial about the new features of Photoshop CC 2020. You can also find other tutorials about the warp in Photoshop on the Graphic Extras channel. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, etc. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.